Hi Scorpio. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to, whoa, another Scorpio tarot reading. Scorpio love tarot reading. Scorpio love reading. And as is pretty much always the case, look at this. Here at the Tarot Closet, Scorpio love messages. Channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Scorpio, the Emperor, and the Hangman are both showing themselves. Aries and Mars energy, the Hangman, Pisces. Are they getting out of there because this is somebody who's been hiding feelings? I feel like they've been in here for too long. They've been indecisive. There's also some power struggles here. It's kind of like, I don't know, who's, who's going to write who first, but everybody's watching everybody kind of energy. It's around some timing here. The hangman, of course, ultimately coming to a three here. Our cardinal sign, are they making a move? Is this a balanced energy? Look, holding on to that ankh. It's divine masculine energy, but that ankh is divine masculine, divine feminine energy. Also, the emperor connected to the root chakra. And when that is centered and balanced, you know, then there's... Yeah, there, you get out of fear, shadow, and ego, and you make the move, whatever that move happens to be. Or is that in reverse? I kind of feel like it's a little bit of both. I feel like it's been in reverse, but it might be moving up, <laughs> turning around. Let's see. So the fool is back. Seven of Pentacles is here. You're definitely sick of waiting. Or did we see the Fool yet? Well, here it is. Aquarius and Uranus energy. Seven of Pentacles, Venus, and Taurus energy. What's going down here? Let's get a closer look. Whoa! <laughs> Three of Pentacles wanting to come in Mars and Capricorn energy. This is a teamwork energy. It's collaborative, coming together, working together, working things out, working on. It's a, a really, I don't know, this energy that I'm feeling, Scorpio, and maybe I think my, might be coming from your end, is sort of like this. It's this kind of energy. <laughs> Does that make sense? Am I... Am I expressing myself the way I want to? Because that's what I keep hearing. It's like I keep hearing fingers tapping. Like, hurry up already. And, yeah, this person needs to make this move. What is it? Scorpio, all your Zodiac readings are in the description below. Really easy to reach the playlists. Of course, all 12 Zodiac signs, also all signs, tarot readings. These are love tarot readings for the collective, collective love readings. If you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth twin flame readings as well. So feel free to explore. This is a general tarot reading. Always take what resonates, let the rest go. And it's timeless. You're here when you're meant to be here. So hello and welcome again. The hangman is showing itself again here with the Knight of Wands. I think somebody's planning to get out of here, finally. When you get out of the hangman, you know where you go. You go into the death card. That's your energy, Scorpio. And you get out of the ego that we saw our emperor and our man hanging. <laughs> our hangman is in. Some power struggles, some ego energy. Yeah. Are they getting out of it? Are they still in it? Because this is the second time we've seen the hangman already. I think they might be heading for that death card and coming in here in a really different vibe. Thank you for liking today's video, Scorpio. Subscribing to the Tarot Closet, I really appreciate it. Let's go. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us more cards for Scorpio, aho. It's the lovers. Well, well, well. Yeah, I think something's going down here, all right. Gemini energy, Venus, of course, the planet of love. 
the lovers is connected to the heart chakra. And this is Archangel Raphael, who just wants to heal what is broken here. Connected to the heart chakra, but also the throat chakra, I speak. Somebody here still loves you, Scorpio. And this is what is going down. And that's the other thing. You've been waiting for them to get out of that hangman energy. Also, I really feel like get out of the emperor in reverse energy. Because this person, there is some ego here. I wouldn't necessarily say an egotistical person, really, per se. But there is some holding back connected to that. And I do feel that they're getting out of that to make the move that you've been waiting for them to make. Hiding their feelings. King of Cups right here in the partnership placement. Y you can't really hide them here. We see them. Scorpio's person. Queen of Pentacles is coming right below it. This is my, well, this is my protege to the Empress. We saw the Emperor coming in. A lot of healing energy. Resourceful. Fertility, new beginnings, matters of the heart can, yeah, make things work that were not working. It's a healing energy here. This is somebody that it's just really clear that emperor energy, whether it's still current or not, I guess you could say, has clearly been, yeah, look, hiding their feelings. Things haven't been moving. Nine of pentacles in reverse, Virgo and Mercury energy, setbacks in the partnership, that emperor, have they not been balancing out their work life with their romantic life? Definitely could be, could be, could have been putting more time into work. There's also maybe some kind of jealousy energy here. Four of swords and <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> and gosh. This is exactly what this is, hiding their feelings, Scorpio, and the feelings are right here. And they're getting restless to reveal them. Four of Swords in reverse, Jupiter in Libra energy. You're sick of waiting. We saw that coming in with the Fool and the Seven of Pentacles. They're getting restless to move. It's like an anxious energy to come here with you together. This teamwork energy, the Three of Pentacles. And ha were you in a long-term partnership? Were you building it wasn't on the table? Something obviously happened. Our Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. It's like a, a state of disrepair, you could say. And here's, here's the Queen of Pentacles. Right here, putting this in, giving us the Ten of Pentacles. So kind of what happened, but also telling us that the po possibilities here of... Obviously uprighting this, but more importantly, going into that Ten of Pentacles. We have the Lover's card here. There's very clearly a reveal, revealing energy going on here just for you now, hearing that they love you. I don't think they stopped loving you. Why has this person been holding it back? It's been clear from the beginning of your reading that they need to make the move here. And the Emperor is back strong validation and it's back in the upright so that energy coming in is definitely what I was feeling that it was a reversal energy it's somebody who has been an ego shadow and fear who has been in balance this divine masculine energy holding on to the yonk right yin yang energy divine feminine divine masculine energy look they're wearing the whole world on their cape and it's just been really strong here for me that they've been hiding feelings. There's some kind of like some arrogant energy here and a really strong validation that for those of you that this person <laughs> is not balancing their life with work, overworking, strong validation. So the reversal energy is strong when we were coming into the reading, but this is what it's coming down in now. And what I like about this is again, it's the root chakra and this is telling me that it's a centered, balanced energy. So it's somebody who's either getting it together with their work schedule, checking their ego at the door, getting out of that hangman energy and going into the death card to both get over their ego and come in a much higher vibe, different. There's some paradigm shifts going on with this person 
And speaking of which, what else is within that death card that is needing to change aside from their ego? Because our emperor here is definitely making a move. Coming here with our lover's card, soulmate energy. The twin flame energy is here. I know it's not going to be for everyone. I would be remiss if I didn't mention it. I want to say that if you're on a twin flame journey and you want a really specific reading, definitely check out the twin flame readings. You can find them below. But if you're resonating, there's obviously some messages here for you too. Yeah, something is going down here. Six of Wands, Upright Energy, Seven of Swords, in Reverse. So, wanting to get your attention, Six of Wands, Jupiter, and Leo energy, if you can see this person, there definitely, there's an energy, and maybe there's even other people around, because there's third-party energy, I feel like, but I'm, I'm not particularly clear if it's just around their third-party energy in terms of commitment and feelings and holding back, or there were other people involved. I kind of think there were, but what I'm talking about is if you can see each other, it's like coming up to you, like not being able to hold back anymore, and there's other people around. So they're either around them or you, and I kind of feel like it would be around you. And even if you're not seeing this person, this is them making that move. Look, they're coming in with the olive branch. And this is Jupiter energy, so it's, it's well, it's the planet of prosperity and expansion, but it's, you can see the dice there, and it's like rolling the dice, like a gamble. How is it going to go down? So if you can't see each other, it's still this energy of phone call or a message of them making the move. Making amends is strong too. There's definitely some making amends energy here. The Seven of Swords is in reverse. Aquarius and Uranus energy. So what went on with the Seven of Swords? Running, not being honest about feelings is really super clear. that They've been holding them back. Look at that. It's almost like, look, their fingers, are their fingers crossed there? I think they are. Yeah, this was definitely, I want to say lying about feelings, but also truth by omission, so it could just be not saying them. They're coming in here with this olive branch. It's a peace offering. They're taking kind of a, a gamble, you could say. I do feel like that there's other people around somebody, and they kind of want the acknowledgement but they want it from you. This is trying to get your attention. And there is an apology here. But uh, uh, and one that I feel like they have to make. But obviously there's something more than an apology. Those three are yours. And that's yours. It's one of these readings today. Is that it? Two of Swords, bottom of the deck, Moon and Libra energy. Yeah, make a decision here. Get into a balanced energy. You can see actually they are. Dark to light, light to dark kind of energy. It's Libra. Connected to infinity, justice, truth, balance, renewal, information here coming for it. Sure. A compromise around it, so maybe one they're making with themselves because it's somebody who's been needing to make this move for a while. Yeah, reciprocal energy, six of pentacles. So here's the thing. It's both connecting with, again, our nine of, of pentacles in reverse and the queen of pentacles, the reciprocity, so getting us into that ten of pentacles energy. But also it's here with the six of wands. Finally responding to a message, finally, whether it's a voicemail, finally communicating, whatever. And it's coming here with the Six of Wands. That's a 66. And that's an energy of, well, it's an energy actually of imbalance, of this person needing to get into balance, which we <laughs> can literally see here. The moon, Pisces energy, the revealing energy. My gosh. The Emperor who's been holding back their feelings, King of Cups in Reverse, Lover's Card. What is being revealed? What has been hidden? How they feel? Yeah. And more. There is some jealousy here, I have to say, Scorpio. And obviously there's some kind of 
well, offer <laughs> the quotes here, because there's communication, but it's somebody who is not really sure how you're, what's going to go on on the other, the receiving end, like your end. Pisces energy also bringing in Cancer and Gemini. And you go here when you get out of the star energy, which is affinity. It's this person coming back in. And when you get out of here, you, of course, go into the sun, the dark to light, the yin, yang energy. This is the subconscious energy. So what needs to be revealed? Obviously, the feelings. It's just so clear here today. That's the moon in charge of the tide, in charge of the emotions. And look at how there, there's no block here flowing. Getting over some of the fear, for sure, our emperors in the, in the upright here energy is very different than an emperor in reverse. Just even here in our moon today with the stars here within the moon. Eight of Pentacles working on this. Yeah. And look how close they have you. The sun in Virgo energy. So here's the Five of Pentacles, Mercury and Taurus. This is a card of an energy of loss worried. There, there's some kind of jealousy here. I don't know if they've seen or heard something or what. Some kind of triggering energy, but that's kind of where things are, not communicating. They're working on the six pentacle here, reciprocity. We actually see that here. So it's like the message, the apology coming in here in a balanced energy, balancing the divine feminine, divine masculine energy, of course, and also that root chakra, centered, aligned, and making the apology, checking their ego at the door, coming in a different vibe. But yeah, there's something more than that. And of course, they have what they're going for next is the seventh pentacle. And that's an energy I feel you're in. Venus and Taurus energy. It's like one foot, maybe two feet out the door, sick of waiting. You know, something they may have seen or heard, or they're just trying to get a move on here because that's you tired of waiting which came through, that's right, the Seven of Pentacles was coming through, and that's the thing, you're waiting for this, the reciprocity, they're literally working on it here. And there's that Eighth Pentacle on the move, again, stopping by to visit the Queen of Pentacles and getting over here and uprighting this Nine of Pentacles, long-term energy. Knight of Cups in the upright, Seven of Wands in the upright, <laughs> so look, yeah, there's definitely this energy of, I guess you could say, look, a nine of swords and the hangman is back for a third time. This is a divine number, timing, huge. And they're not sleeping, nine of swords, Gemini and Mars energy. But look as they come in here with the knight of cups. This is your energy, Scorpio. Scorpio and Pluto energy, the prince. Prince is charming energy with some kind of proposal. Could it be something big? Of course because they are wanting to get your attention. I will tell you, there is this energy of, of other people hearing it or knowing about it. So yeah, it could be that it's actual marriage. But remember, proposals are new beginnings, you know, and, and offers in the sense too here, look with the lover's card, that let's meet, let's talk. And of course, it could be around other offers, you could say. So whether it's going exclusive, moving in, and again, getting married. Also the family energy here around our queen of pentacles, my protege for the empress, right here with the emperor. <laughs> I just saw that the knight of cups wanted to make a point by taking over the lover's card overall energy. Yeah, there might be something more. There is an apology in this cup. There's feelings being revealed in this cup. And there's more. And they're getting anxious. And it's connecting with the Three of Pentacles. This collaborative energy. Like, I want to work this out. Will you accept this apology? Will you accept what I have to say to you? Will you accept? What is it? It's kind of a lot of things. And we have the Seven of Wands here, and of course we saw the Seven of Pentacles coming in, and it's really strong in your Eight of Pentacles today, that you're, there's an energy shift here. So they have seen or heard something, maybe you've even said it, 
of you sick of waiting. You know, having your guards up, self-defensive energy. They know this. They're stressing out about it. Not This is waking up in the night, and the nocturnal energy is quite strong. Here with our moon connected right here with the emperor and the king of cups in reverse. Look at the, <laughs> the photo here. Things coming to fruition, you could say, with our nine of swords. It's like, yeah, how many nights, how much longer are you just going to wake up and, and not do anything about it? Scorpio's person, I don't think much longer. The hangman is here for a third time. I I'm telling you. <laughs> and you get out of there and you go into the death card, Scorpio. That is where you go. Paradigm shifts. You come in in a different way. They're leaving their ego. This is this person from the past. I don't know how far back it's going. It feels like for some of you it's far back, but that's really relative to what is far back to you may not be to someone else. But coming in in a very different vibe, there is some I've changed energy. And it's probably the Seven of Swords in reverse talking. And look at this. Yeah, so our Nine of Swords, our Nine of Pentacles in reverse is giving us a 99. And that's an energy of a cycle ending. It's strong. It's fulfillment. So getting into that new cycle. Again, the Ten of Swords, getting out of that no contact, no communication, and or in separation energy in the Nine of Pentacles going into the Ten of Pentacles. It's just really, really strong here. And it's literally time. And of course, the hangman is c connected to the crown chakra. I know the spiritual connection, the spiritual realignment, because that's also been clear what's going on here with this person today. Reassessing past actions, getting priorities straight, and taking new ones. That's also what you're doing, and I feel like that's why they're panicked. Let's bring in some oracle. I'm not reading it in reverse. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Ha-ho. There is the crown chakra. Look, accomplishment. I want to get out of there. Look at this. Knight of Cups, Four of Swords. I'm ready to get out of there. I'm getting restless. Three of Pentacles coming together. I'm working on it. Eight of Pentacles. I know what I need to do. I know what I did. And when I know what I else I, what else I need to do, I know what I want. Because it's clear that they love you. And look, the key revealed. What are they revealing? Feelings, truths, an apology. Feelings are really strong. Not just the I love you energy, but What's been going on? What do they want? Where are you at? This couldn't be any more true, I feel like, a snail. Slow, but persistent. And that's definitely an energy coming in here now. It could be for some of you that there is something around getting out of that hangman and the death card around changes they need to make around living situations. Our snail has their whole house, you know. They actually go underground sometimes for around two years, give or take. They come back up and they just keep going, you know. So it could be literal in that sense, but the persistence energy. Temperament, prosperity, and the bench. This is connecting to the Nine of Cups. Nobody's sitting on this cup. It's assess is what we have here. It's like everybody's around it, but you're not sitting here waiting anymore, but you're still lingering. You got up though. You definitely have two feet out the door. Maybe some of you it's one, <laughs> but this is that nine of cups energy and assessing the situation, controlling what you can, your actions, letting go of what you can't. It's also what they're doing. And they're, look at this, they're coming in here with temperament, lion, and pomegranate prosperity. This is connected to Jupiter, the planet of prosperity, expansion. Jupiter connecting us both to Pisces and Sagittarius. Luck, 
I always think of that as timing. And it's coming here with temperament. And the thing about the lion and the sun is it really immediately connects me to the strength card and the sun energy. We have the moon here. And getting over their ego, getting the courage. But it's also connecting with temperance. Sagittarius energy of restoring balance and harmony, like wanting to work things out. Temperance is Archangel Michael, the angel for protection and strength, divine justice. And Archangel Michael specifically is connected to the solar plexus chakra, I do, and the throat chakra, I speak here. Wanting to get everybody on the path to the truth for yeah, a new beginning where everybody's getting what they want. And it's prosperity here. Scorpio, I'm really liking this reading for you. I want to bring in some channeled love messages. Messages from their higher self. We're going to go through a few. Some little decks, my little decks too, my love notes. But let's begin here. What do you want to say to your Scorpio? That's too many. <laughs> They're getting it through anyway. These seem important. I still love you. This is, I would say it's like the message of the day, but there's so many here. But it really is, Scorpio, this is just so incredibly strong. They hid them, they lied. Maybe lying was by truth by omission by not saying it, you know? I am so sorry. It's like answering that, I'm so sorry for that. Here with the Seven of Swords in reverse. I think we are soulmates. Yeah, that's definitely how they're seeing you, how they're seeing your connection. It's going right here with the lover's card. Look, it's here would reveal the moon, the emperor. So it's revealing it to themselves too. Because king of, of cups in reverse and the emperor has been hiding them. Desire. So that's connecting with the strength card energy that's also coming through. The wand energy. Some passionate energy here, a strong physical connection, validated, but sometimes can be really overwhelming. There's so much left unsaid. Clear. You're my person. I think we are soulmates. Right there with the lover's card. I'm starting to understand our connection. That's exactly the message that just came in, and there it is. Being revealed to them. And that's why there's some jealousy because maybe some of you have completely got up. You know, have two feet, maybe out the door, maybe you're already walking. Because they're stressed. They're, there's a triggering energy here. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are gone, but there's, they're stressing out. There's some kind of worry around it. I'm sorry I didn't reply. I still love you. I feel so at home with you. So this is Six of Cups energy. That's your energy, Scorpio, the sun in Scorpio. The, this whole connection, you know, like just when you can be yourself with somebody, when you don't have to put on a mask or pretend you're something that you're not, you are my other half. I'm hearing, I realize this now, am I too late? Realizing that you were loving them and accepting them for who they were. I was, and I was stupid to let you go. Yeah. And I'm working on coming back in here. That's been abundantly clear and very strong. Already some messages. <laughs> Those are too many. I'm sorry, Scorpio's person. The tarot closet, love messages. Messages from their higher self. Any more? Yeah, there's a lot coming in. Here it is. I fear you have moved on. Seven of Wands, that Seven of Pentacles coming in because there's a recalibration for you too. There's an energy shift. 
sick of waiting, also the Four of Swords in reverse. And maybe something else going on for some of you. I received your telepathic messages. That's Two of Cups energy, Venus and Cancer. But also our lover's energy here. You are perfect. I feel so at home with you is where that wanted to go. It was me, not you. I was stupid to let you go. I really want to hold you. And as I was putting this down, I thought, oh, there's Whoa. desire. <sighs> that camera is going to make me nuts. <laughs> I'm not sure where it ended. So just to be sure, I'm just going to back up a little bit, okay? Obviously, I think you already saw the I think we are soulmates. You are my person. I still love you, and I'm sorry I didn't reply. I am so sorry. I'm starting to understand our connection. I think we are soulmates. You're my person. You're my other half. That's soulmate energy. There's so much left unsaid. I was stupid to let you go, and it was me, not you. But I fear you've moved on. And I feel so at home with you. I really want to hold you. So that was coming down when I, I think when I looked up at the camera, you are perfect look. And it was connecting with desire. And I was just about to show you this and I looked up and the camera wasn't recording. That seven of wands, and it's not about gender, but somebody has their hand on their hip. Look, catching the six of wands here. Yeah, there's that seventh wand. And the Six of Wands is here. It's this person coming in to get your attention. So if you're sitting, if you're seeing them and you're sitting there with other people, there might be some ignoring going on and why they're so stressed. Same thing possibly around a message. But either way, that's the energy that's here. And because they were sending this in, desire I wanted to go with desire and I really want to hold you. And it's I almost hear a sigh. There's like a, you know, please. Okay, come on, <laughs> kind of energy. We belong together. I think we are soulmates. You're my person. I still love you. You deserve so much more. I don't deserve you, but I want you. My world changed when I met you. I don't feel good enough for you. There it is. You deserve so much more. So another approach here. Look going around the seven of wands. Don't give up on us. We belong together. And it's really hard living without you. I'm starting to understand our connection. Connecting right here with you are my other half. The tarot closet. More. And then we're going to close your reading. Channeled love messages, love notes. There's one here hanging off. Okay, it's two. They, wanted, they want me to read them. I stare into your eyes in photos. So that is Page of Swords energy. Like if you're on social media, they're looking kind of energy. Maybe through other people, looking for information. I made so many mistakes. I was stupid to let you go. Because I love you. Right there in the lover's card. Do you think of me too? We are soulmates. I think we are soulmates. We are soulmates. So more validation. I've never felt like this. also I'm starting to understand our connection energy. I reread our messages. That's that page of swords energy. So maybe looking at their phone too, like listening to messages or reading them. I made so many mistakes. I'm so sorry. I took you for granted. It was me, not you. I was stupid to let you go. Something wants to reveal here. <laughs> As I remove the reveal card, it's a tulip, unconditional. It's one stem and two tulips. Look, an infinity is right here. Truth, balance, renewal, a particular kind of love. 
connection. For some of you, it's your twin flame. I know that's not for everybody. That's also just a far, it's like a forever kind of love, you know? I love you to infinity energy. The last two here are connecting. So let's see what's going on. I play songs that remind me of you. Awake in the night here, Nine of Swords, the moon. Understanding the connection. I kind of feel like they're staying up sometimes into the morning or just waking up really early. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. We were destined to meet. It's the stars here in that moon that's also bringing in the wheel of fortune. Fate and destiny. Controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. But understanding the connection is strong. Beautiful Scorpio, that's your reading today. It was my honor as always to channel for you. Thank you so much for joining me, for watching, for liking today's video, for subscribing to the Tarot Closet. I really appreciate it. I'm sending you love and light, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye Scorpio.